lock up latch why it's used where it is used does it work that's what we are going to explore in this video so the agenda goes like this we are going to explore a circuit which meets the whole timing and a circuit which violates whole timing and what's the lockup latch where and how to insert lockup latch and will lockup latch solve whole time violation these are the things we are going to look in this video let's get started so we are going to look at a scenario where this particular circuit meets the whole time requirement see there are two flops and some launching flop and a capturing flop and uh, the irrelevant clocks d pin and q pin of the circuits the launching flops q pin um, is connected to the d pin of the capturing flop and between there is some combination of circuit right hand side you could see the waveform how the transition occurs during the first clock edge you could see there is a skew between the launching flops clock and the capturing flops clock. At the next stage, you could see the data being transitioned from 0 to 1. And after a clock to Q delay, see the Q pin is being transitioned from 0 to 1. Same after the propagation delay of the combination circuit, you could see the D pin of the capturing flop as again transition from 0 to 1 but this transition of the D pin occurs after the hold window of the uh, capturing flop so by the time the stable input of 0 is being captured and there is no change at the Q pin of the capturing flop this is an example of example where the hold time is met let's consider one more edge so in the next stage you could see the D pin has transitioned from 1 to 0 so obviously after a clock to Q delay there is a transition of 1 to 0 at the Q pin launching flop now let's consider the next clock edge of the capturing flop so at this time you could see the D pin of the capturing flop has a stable one value which has been launched by the launching flop at the previous cycle so that is reliably captured at this end because it meets the whole time and the Q pin transitions to 0 to 1 after clock to Q delay. In this scenario, we look at uh, the circuit where the whole time uh, fails as a violation of the whole time. So you could see there is a launch flop and a capture flop. Uh, but there is no combination and delay between the output of the launch flop and the input of the capture flop. Right side, if you could see the waveform, the first stage is similar to the passing scenario. The next stage, if you could, you could see like the deep in transition from 0 to 1 and it's uh, stable. Uh, because of that, uh, the Q pin transition from 0 to 1 after clock to Q delay but because of the lack of combination delay you could see the D pin of the capture flop is also immediately transitioned from 0 to 1 and uh, by doing so it violates the whole window there's this transition is still happening uh, when the, uh, during the whole window of the capture flop because of that the Q pin of the capture flop ends up at the metastable state. Consider this scenario where two scan chains are to be connected together to decrease the number of scan chain at the top level. So in this particular scenario, the tail flop of scan chain 0 is connected to the head flop of scan chain 1 and both these flops operate at passage of the same clock and there is a high possibility that whole violation can occur. So to avoid this whole violation, now we need to add a lockup latch. So lockup latch is nothing more than a transparent latch added to fix the whole violation. So where and how to insert the lockup latch? So a lockup latch is added uh, between 
the launch flop and the capture flop and if the launch flop and the capture flop are operating at the passage of the same clock then a neg negative level trigger lockup latch has to be added if the launch flop and capture flop are operating at a negative of a same clock then a positive level trigger lockup latch needs to be added now which clock has to be fed to the negative lockup latch obviously it's a launch flops clock so that the skew between the launch flops clock and the negative lockup latch is negligible okay considering a scenario where the whole time violation was happening uh, we have now added a negative level trigger lockup latch between the launch flop and capture flop to see if this resolves the whole time violation so the first stage on the deep end was constant zero and there is no change in q frames the next passage you can see there is a change in the deep end that's transition from zero to one so after a clock to q delay the q pin has transitioned from zero to one now is the interesting part uh, though the Q pin that's the input to the negative level trigger lockup latch has transitioned you could see there is no change in the output of the negative lockup latch negative level trigger lockup latch because because the clock is high uh, so the output of the lockup latch still remains constant zero uh, throughout the whole window so the zero is reliably captured at the output of the captured flop. Now, when the clock, the launch flop is low, you could see the deep in now has transitioned from zero to one, but doesn't affect the captured flop because it's again, the clock is low. On the next passage of the clock, could see the deep in transition from one to zero so it's being captured at the q pin of the launch flop after a clock to q delay but again the important thing is the output of the negative level trigger lock of latch which acts as an input to the capture flop does not change because the clock is one so it remains at the stable one throughout the whole window of the capture flop. So after clock to Q delay, one is being captured at the Q pin of the capture flop. So the summary of this video is lockup latch helps in meeting the whole time. And use a negative level trigger latch if you have two positive edge flops you use a positive level trigger latch if you have two negative uh, edge flops lockup latches are not required if both the flops are working at different edges that is one is working at a positive edge another is working at negative edge thanks for watching the video